is that the church is the body of Christ. Since the church is the body of Christ, therefore there is only one body to Christ, meaning there is only one church of Jesus Christ. So what is he meaning? Here we go. Verse 4 begins with John to the seven churches which are in Asia. We said John is the is John the Beloved, one of the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ, the gospel writer, the writer of the epistles, and the book of Revelation. He was the youngest in age out of all the 12, and the last one to depart this world at the age of around approximately 100, 105 years of age. He passed away a natural death in an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea called Pedmos, which is in Greece currently, an island in Greece called Pedmos. And he wrote the book of Revelation around 100 AD. To John, John to the seven churches which are in Asia. We see in verse 4 the role of John the Beloved, what his role is all about. He is writing or he's sending this book of Jesus Christ to the seven churches in Asia. Now, when the Bible mentions seven churches, yes, there were seven churches in Asia at that time. However, book of Revelation, it is a prophetic book and a symbolic book. Because the Lord Jesus does not have seven churches because St. Paul, his epistle to the Ephesians chapter 5, says that the church is the body of Christ. Since the church is the body of Christ, therefore there is only one body to Christ, meaning there is only one church of Jesus Christ. So what is he meaning by the seven churches in Asia? He's meaning that the only beloved church of Christ is going to go through seven different stages until the end of times. It's going to go through seven different stages. But we will cover this in chapter 2 and 3. But he says to the seven churches, i.e. to the church, the only church of Christ that is going to go through seven stages until the second coming of the Messiah. But where are these churches? In Asia. Now the word Asia, if we look at it in the Arabic language, they call it Asia. Now in Arabic Asia, there is one word that derived from the word Asia is Qasia. Now Qasia means, uh, means the, the oppressing one, the, um, the torturing one, um, the difficult one. Someone who is Qasi means he is oppressive. He, the one that persecutes you, the one that gives you a hard time. So where is the beloved church of Christ that is going to go through seven different stages. Where is it? It is in a place where it will be persecuted and it will be oppressed and afflicted in Asia. When we look around us now, what is happening in the world nowadays? It is mainly focused on the church, not anyone else. The persecution is mainly focused on the church. Asia here refers to the world, and the Lord Jesus established his church and he placed it in the world where it will be persecuted. And we see a great deal of persecutions happening against the church. In so many countries that were once upon a time Christians, nowadays they are denouncing their Christianity and becoming of a secular, atheistic government, and they do not want to do nothing with Christian values, morals, and laws. They're walking away, and they're giving the church a hard time. They want to implement rules and laws where as a Christian you have no right to speak your Christian faith. 